Hi guys, it's your girl Alicia. Um, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to be doing a banana fritters. So I have bananas and when the bananas start looking like this in my house, nobody wants to eat them. I'm the only one that eats them and probably grandma. Um, so right now I have three whole overripe bananas in a bowl that I'm going to be mashing and this one I'm going to be calling it not your grandmother's uh, banana fritters because this is not the way my grandmother used to make banana fritters back in the day um, there are some ingredients in here I'm going to be putting in ingredients that's going to be boosting the uh, nutrient content of this regular old banana fritters so what you're doing, you're just mashing the banana and getting all the lumps out. And when that's done, um, you're going to add, I'm adding a splash of um, pink Himalayan salt. Because you know how that single sweet and salty really plays with the taste buds and give you like a really nice big product. I'm going in with uh, cinnamon. I like cinnamon, so I'm doing two tablespoons of cinnamon. Cause this is gonna be more like a the banana fritters are more like a dessert kind of a fritters. They're sweet, you know, compared to the plantain um, fritters. These are going to be sweet. I'm going in with ground allspice. And I'm going to be using a teaspoon of ground allspice. I would use vanilla too if you have it because it's gonna it's desserty so if you have it all nice and spiced and spiced up with all the um like pumpkin um pie spices um that's fine okay so a teaspoon of all spice i'm gonna then add sugar nice heat tablespoons of brown sugar maybe four because remember we're going to be adding flour and, and all this stuff all right so the sugar went in and we're gonna continue to give it a good mix i'm using a fork but you can use a whisk if you want to try to get those lumps out of the banana and get it you're still going to get you know because you when you bite into the fritters you want to bite you know nice little bits of banana as well so you don't want to beat everything out to a puree but you want to just hand beat it with the fork to um to just like small lumps all right Okay, so what makes this not your grandmother's is now the Alicia version is about to kick in. So some, some um, people usually put raisins in it. I'm just going to put a little handful of raisins. Boost the nutrient content. I'll be adding a handful of pumpkin seeds. I like a crunch. There it goes. The Alicia version gets bigger. Okay, I'm going in with um, walnut. I think I'm just going to dump whatever is left in this bag, which is probably about a quarter cup of walnut. Okay. 
and let's continue with the not your grandmother's ingredients some oatmeal just a little bit of oatmeal because you know oatmeal um does uh absorb liquid so i'm adding in a, about a quarter cup of oatmeal and remember we're working with three bananas here and then what else whatever else you put in is uh really up to you and your palate all right so it looks like we basically have have what we need in here oh you know what we're missing we're missing baking powder Three cups of flour so one cup of flour per banana okay three cups of flour and then last but not least we're adding in um, a tablespoon nice pile high tablespoon of baking powder baking powder and that's it we're going to be folding this in and i'm going to see if it it might need a little bit of um a wet because this is supposed to be like a dropping consistency you know so we might need to add if you have almond milk in your refrigerator you can add it I just have regular 2% milk, so that's what I'm going to be adding. Let's start with a cup. You need to get this to kind of like a, a dropping, a spoon drop consistency. I don't have almond milk right now. I usually use almond milk. I'm going to just be using the regular 2% milk. So that's one cup. It looks like we're going to need a whole nother cup. So I would say two cups of, um, of milk just to get the consistency to, to the dropping where you want it. And yet it's called spooning. So this is a spooning, um, I'll show you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue to mix this. I'm not trying to make the tape too um, long. I will be adding in another cup, one more cup. There we go. And I'm just going to continue to mix until we get the consistency that we want. We'll be back. Okay, so we're over by the stove and we're about to fry these not your grandmother banana fritters All right. so i'm using coconut oil it's summer here in new york city so i like to keep my coconut oil in the refrigerator until i'm ready to use it because um i don't like to see when it just sits there and thaw into a liquid and get all soppy looking so we're melting the coconut oil and we're going to drop our um or banana fritters in i'm trying to get this all i had it on low as i was heating it now i'm trying to get it up to temperature you have to get it up to full temperature 
so the uh, fritters don't soak up too much oil so you really want to get the, the get it up to high and then once the banana fritters start browning then you uh, turn it down because the sugar in the banana fritters is going to ca uh, cause it to brown real quickly on you so you can turn it up have that oil boiling drop them and then turn it back down get all my coconut oil off of here We need to really get it up to temperature. In the meantime, I'm going to be using a scoop. So I have, um, so okay, so this is the final on the batter before we start um, dropping them in the oil. I did add like a quarter cup of sweetened coconut flakes because um, when I left you, we were mixing in the milk. So I ended up um, mixing in two and a half cups of milk in total just to get it to this kind of a consistency you see where it just drops like that all right so i think um we're ready to go this oil is uh ready so this is a big scoop so i'm gonna try to only drop half each okay my half didn't end up so well <laughs> we got a big one and a small one out of the scoop but it makes it more convenient and easy for me to just use a scoop I'm gonna try again Let's see if I could do half and then the remaining half and I'm dropping them where they do not stick to each other and I drop them where there's oil right around that's kind of a big one Just gonna fry them in the pan until they're fully cooked. At this point now, I would actually turn the oil, the temperature of the oil down, because I start smelling them already. I'm smelling that um, the uh, cinnamon and the all the um, mixed spice, the all spice coming out. get myself a spatula and yeah these are like beautiful and brown I'm gonna attempt to turn this over there we go can you see that you see that nice brown color on that there we go There's a good amount of fritters in the pan, so I'm trying to make sure the oil uh, stays hot 
so because I dropped so many in there I turned the oil back up a little bit so now I'm a little bit a little bit above medium so and then this is basically it you're gonna cook them until they are cooked all the way through all the way into the inside so by the time the other side is nice and brown like this it's basically cooked um, I'm gonna continue to cook cook everything and then I'll come back and I'll show you um, our finished product we'll be back okay guys so here are my final not your grandmother's banana fritters enjoy i just saw one hand that came into my plate that i did not invite there goes another hand